a real-life Bloodline member finally breaks silence after getting fired by the WWE, CM Punk finally reveals what CM actually stands for. The Rock's return is upon us. Rumored plans for Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes at WWE Bad Blood, an unfortunate update on CM Punk and Drew McIntyre, Adam Pearce is ready to wrestle again, Forbes drops Vince McMahon from their list, Cody Rhodes claims his viral segment with Roman Reigns was unscripted, Cody Rhodes demands the WWE stops one thing. Let's dive right in. Rumored plans for Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes at WWE Bad Blood. Whether or not it is the main event, Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes teaming up is among the most important things at Bad Blood 2024. The two biggest stars in WWE will take on the Bloodline Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu in a tag team match. It could go many ways, with several twists and turns possible. A few have been set up on SmackDown, while a couple of big WWE stars could return as well. However, one thing seems certain. Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns will have each other's backs at Bad Blood 2024, so don't expect either man to turn heel. With that in mind, here are rumored endings for the big tag team match at Bad Blood. Number one, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens, even the odds to specifically help Cody Rhodes. As made clear on SmackDown last week, the bloodline always takes advantage of the numbers game. That is why Randy Orton Orton and Kevin Owens may ultimately help Cody Rhodes out at Bad Blood 2024, despite their ongoing tension. Orton and KO can come out to attack Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa without even needing to acknowledge the American Nightmare. After all, they still have a common enemy. After Roman Reigns proves himself to be a trustworthy partner, his former rivals will be more comfortable in helping him too. This would be an interesting way to set up the babyface side of the likely bloodline civil war at Survivor Series, War Games 2024. If Jimmy Uso does not return and Jay Uso continues to thrive on his own, Kevin Owens and Randy Orton would be the next best options. Number 2. Roman Reigns Pins Solo Sokoa Clean Sometimes when two megastars team up in WWE, they clean house no matter the odds stacked against them. That might be what happens with Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes at Bad Blood. It could simply be a feel-good outing for the two big babyfaces. So, if Reigns and Rhodes end up winning without interference, what would be the optimal outcome? There is no way Jacob Fatu can get pinned this early into his WWE run, so Solo Sokoa would end up getting the short stick. Cody Rhodes has pinned the new Tribal Chief multiple times already, so maybe it is time for the original Tribal Chief to step up. Roman Reigns could pin his younger cousin to set up a match for the Ula Fala at Crown Jewel 2024. It does make sense, even if it is a little less exciting than the other options. Number 3. Cody Rhodes is pinned after Kevin Owens betrays him. Rage is a funny feeling. It makes you do things that are out of character and that you would not normally do. Rage could be the reason why Kevin Owens inadvertently helps the Bloodline win at Bad Blood. We are yet to hear KO's reaction to Cody Rhodes teaming up with Roman Reigns, which means his actions may do all the talking. Following weeks of slow building tension, Owens could attack the American Nightmare at Bad Blood at a crucial point in the match. This would allow Solo Sokoa, or preferably Jacob Fatu, to pin Rhodes for the win. It would stack the deck further against Reigns, who would be forced to turn to the family he manipulated and abused over the years. How Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso respond to the original Tribal Chief is anybody's guess though. Number 4. The Rock returns to help the Bloodline defeat Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. While not the most likely show he could return to, The Rock appearing at Bad Blood 2024 would instantly make it one of the biggest WWE shows of the year. The final boss has not been seen since the Fallout episode of Raw after WrestleMania 40, where he promised that he would return to go after Cody Rhodes. While that could be his motive to return, The Rock won't be happy at Roman Reigns' babyface turn. He may end up attacking both men at Bad Blood. This would lead to the Hollywood megastar revealing himself as the Bloodline's true leader. So, after Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu win the tag team match, they could give the Ula Fala to The Rock. Could he be revealed as the real tribal chief ahead of Survivor Series, War Games 2024? It would make the PLE so much more intriguing, as Roman Reigns is forced to scramble after such a huge betrayal. An unfortunate update on CM Punk and Drew McIntyre. The go-home episode of Monday Night Raw ahead of Bad Blood was a strong one, thanks in no small part to Drew McIntyre and CM Punk. The two delivered promos on each other inside Hell in a Cell five days before their match inside the unforgiving structure. Punk and McIntyre have been favored by fans to main event the upcoming PLE. However, Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes' tag team match against the Bloodline could close Bad Blood 2024 instead. While reports suggested WWE was yet to decide which match would headline the event, General Manager Adam Pearce may have subtly revealed the answer on Raw. Before CM Punk and Drew McIntyre came out, the Red Brand's general manager spoke about how he always delivers main events and special attractions. Pearce went on to call the Hell in a Cell match a special attraction. 
rather than a main event. Part of my professional responsibilities that I take very seriously is the delivery of our main events and our special attractions. And on Saturday at Bad Blood, I plan on delivering one hell of a special attraction. The refusal to term CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre as a main event might be confirmation that Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes will headline this Saturday's show. That would be disappointing for the two Raw stars who have been feuding for pretty much the entire year. Adam Pearce is ready to wrestle again. Adam Pearce has found a new chapter in his career as the general manager of WWE Raw, and he's loving every minute of it. While some wrestling fans might be eager to see Pearce back in the ring, the former champ has made it clear that he's more than happy with his current role behind the scenes. In a recent interview on Chaotic Good Sports, Pearce opened up about his career and why he's not itching to wrestle again. It's funny because wrestling fans today, especially the WWE universe, it's like their jaws drop when I say that. Why don't you wrestle? I don't want to, Pierce said. After 20 years in the ring, Pierce noted that he's had his share of perfect moments and is happy to embrace his current role in the wrestling world. I've had so many perfect days in the sun, I took so many bumps, and I had the time of my life for 20 years, Pierce explained. He's walked many paths in pro wrestling, and while he's capable of stepping back in the ring if called upon, it's not something he's pursuing full time. If the time comes and they say, hey, we need you to have a match, brother, I will get my hands dirty, Pierce said. While Pierce is content in his current position, the door isn't completely closed on a potential return to the ring. Just don't expect it anytime soon. Meanwhile, Billy Corgan of the NWA has extended an invitation for Pierce to make a return to his old stomping grounds, and Nick Aldis has even commented on a potential match with the retired champion. With so many wrestling legends stepping back into the ring in recent years, it's clear fans aren't ready to say goodbye to Adam Pierce just yet. But for now, he's enjoying his time calling the shots from behind the scenes. Would you like to see Adam Pierce return to the ring for one more match? Cody Rhodes claims his viral segment with Roman Reigns was unscripted. Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns used to be the biggest enemies in WWE, but they have now forged an alliance to take on the bloodline. They took part in a major cinematic segment last month on SmackDown, and now Cody Rhodes has made an interesting claim about the segment. On the September 20th episode of SmackDown, Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes met each other on the field at Georgia Tech in Atlanta, creating a tense atmosphere. Reigns arrived confidently in a line of cars, while Cody drove in a fancy sports car. Reigns told Rhodes that he would back him up at WWE Bad Blood for their match against Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu from the Bloodline. However, he also hinted that he wants something of his back in return, which is obviously the undisputed WWE Championship. While speaking on the Pat McAfee show, Cody Rhodes explained that during the segment with Roman Reigns, they didn't speak beforehand. They just stood on opposite sides of the field and walked toward each other, not knowing what the other would say, as he essentially claimed that the entire segment was unscripted. We stood on opposite sides of the field for all of the pre-shoot as they were getting the lights in, no discussions whatsoever, no awareness of what the other was might say to the other, we just walked across the field, met at the 50, ran it straight through. Cody Rhodes expressed doubts about whether Roman Reigns will actually keep his promise. However, WWE is fully committed to the ongoing storyline between Rhodes and Reigns. It will be interesting to see how they perform in their match against Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu at WWE Bad Blood on October 5th. Do you believe that the segment between Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns was truly unscripted? Cody Rhodes demands the WWE stops one thing. The undisputed WWE champion Cody Rhodes is among the biggest stars in the Stamford-based promotion. Considered by many as the face of the company, the American Nightmare recently revealed one thing he wishes for WWE to stop doing. The 39-year-old recently made an appearance on the Pat McAfee show, where he pointed out that while he meets the fans in attendance after the shows go off air, his theme song keeps playing on a loop in the background. Rhodes added he wished the wrestling promotion would play any other song and stop playing his theme music over and over over again. So, 99% of the audience don't know the lyrics. They just rock out until the one part. McAfee asks which part? Just the woe. Just the woe. At the end of the night, when I make the rounds and we do, like, stay after the cameras are down, autographs and pictures and stuff, I wish they would play any song other than that song because they play it over and over and over to the point it's too many woes, he said. Forbes drops Vince McMahon from their list. The allegations made by Janelle Grant against Vince McMahon have seriously hurt his reputation as a business leader. Claims of sex trafficking and sexual abuse have overshadowed his legacy as a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. In fact, it seems that he has also been removed from Forbes' top 400 wealthiest list. 
Janelle Grant accused Vince McMahon, WWE, and John Laurinaitis of serious misconduct, including sexual assault, emotional abuse, and sex trafficking. With allegations dating back to March 2019, and a lot of things have come to light after the lawsuit was made in January this year. Afterwards, the Mr. McMahon documentary released last month and put him back in discussions again. Vince McMahon is a major figure in the business world, having owned WWE since the 1980s under Titan Sports. However, that's all in the past now, as he has nothing to do with WWE anymore. Forbes has released its list of the top 400 wealthiest Americans for 2024, with Elon Musk at the top, worth $244 billion. He is followed by Jeff Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg, each valued at $197 billion. However, Vince McMahon is not on this year's list. He was ranked number 366 last year, with a net worth of $2.7 billion, but he has dropped off the list in 2024, now valued at $2.5 billion. It is to be noted that McMahon is currently ranked number 1,286 worldwide. The lawsuit is currently on hold pending federal investigation. Regardless, we'll have to see what will become of Vince McMahon in the end, as things simply do not look good for him, even from a financial standpoint. Did you ever expect to see Vince McMahon removed from Forbes' top 400 wealthiest list? The Rock's return is upon us. After Cody Rhodes finished his story by defeating Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40, the Bloodline's momentum and aura took a massive hit. Solo Sokoa took it upon himself to restore its prestige and reclaim the undisputed WWE Championship. Sokoa began calling himself the Tribal Chief, wearing the Ula Fala. However, Reigns returned at SummerSlam 2024, and the former NXT North American Champion has struggled to keep the original Tribal Chief under control. If Sokoa can't defeat Reigns soon, the final boss may have to step in to restore order. As a senior member of the Bloodline, he will assume the responsibility of restoring prestige to his family name. Kevin Owens and Randy Orton aren't the only ones surprised by the Cody Rhodes-Roman Reigns alliance. Much like the top babyfaces helped Rhodes fight the Bloodline, The Rock helped Reigns immensely in his storyline with the American Nightmare. The final boss did everything in his power during the Bloodline Rules match at Mania to help the OTC retain. Therefore, Rocky could view Reigns' alliance with Rhodes as a betrayal. The most electrifying man in sports entertainment could return as a heel to cost the Reigns Rhodes duo at Bad Blood. He would end the alliance and destroy both men, thereby not allowing them to grow stronger together. Since Solo Sokoa betrayed Roman Reigns and created a bloodline of his own, the WWE Universe is demanding another bloodline civil war, this time at Survivor Series War Games. As a heel, The Rock will likely side with Solo Sokoa. Together with Sokoa, Jacob Fatu, and Haku's sons, he would have a strong side. But his rivals, Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns, have a few friends too. The American Nightmare and the OTC could call upon the Usos and Sami Zayn to form an all-star team for Survivor Series. For the proposed dream match to occur, The Rock's return needs to take place in the foreseeable future. If The Rock has a few matches left in the tank, Triple H would be wise to book the final boss in one-on-one -on -one dream matches against Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns. On the Raw after WrestleMania 40, Rocky told Rhodes that their story was far from finished. Meanwhile, The Rock Roman Reigns showdown has tremendous marketing potential, and WWE has tried booking the match for years. If The Great One returns within the next two months, Hunter could book him against both Rhodes and Reigns. The final boss could face and defeat the American Nightmare at Royal Rumble 2025 to become the undisputed WWE Champion. On the same night, Reigns could win the Rumble to book a date with his cousin at WrestleMania. A feud of such magnitude needs a couple of months to provide a compelling background story. If the Brahma Bull holds off his return for too long, WWE would have to scrap at least one of these colossal dream matches. Raw will debut on Netflix in January 2025. The historic occasion would certainly certainly elevate TKO's position in the global market. But for the deal to be a success, WWE needs to ensure that the prelude is also a success. Enter The Rock. The final boss is a ratings magnet, and he would certainly move the needle in the final months of 2024, building momentum as Raw nears its debut on Netflix. Rocky's return would rekindle interest in the product and bring more casual fans into the mix, which would be best for business. CM Punk finally reveals what CM actually stands for. CM Punk has disclosed what the CM in his name actually stands for. This has been a big mystery for many fans for a long time. The Second City Saint has been back in WWE for nearly a year now. He's one of the 
biggest stars in the entire industry and has been feuding with another major star, Drew McIntyre, for quite some time now. The multi-time world champion is a very influential figure in the wrestling business, and he's been that way for a very long time. During a recent appearance on No Contest Wrestling with O'Shea Jackson Jr. and TJ Jefferson, CM Punk was asked what the first part of his ring name stands for. Many people believe it stands for Chicago Made, but he revealed that it's actually Chick Magnet. The CM thing, it originally stood for Chick Magnet, and I tried to get rid of that because I thought that was a little silly. But it kind of stuck and became CM Punk, and I just like... I can't really complain because things sort of worked out okay. We're doing all right. But it is a silly name. I always laugh when people complain about stuff. Like, I see people complain about about some of the ridiculous names that some NXT kids pick, and I'm like, what am I gonna say? My name is CM Punk. It's the stupidest name, he said. A real-life Bloodline member finally breaks silence after getting fired by the WWE. A real-life Bloodline star has finally spoken up after being removed from the roster by WWE. The removal came suddenly. Tamina is a veteran of WWE and has wrestled in the company for a long time time. The star started in the company back in 2010. While she has not won the women's title, she has been a tag team champion and has won the 24-7 championship several times. Throughout her time in the company, she's been seen as a star who is extremely capable in the ring. She was suddenly removed from WWE's active roster and the site earlier this year. Since then, there's been no real talk from her about her time in the company or how she feels about it. However, the star broke her silence with an emotional message. She declared that she loved her fans and posted many pictures together on her Instagram. I love you, she wrote. Triple H or WWE has yet to officially confirm that she is no longer with the company in any capacity. However, her removal from the roster means that she is no longer among the stars expected to wrestle. Her removal came at the same time as that of Bobby Lashley and MVP. Both stars are leaving the company, with MVP working in AEW. While the Bloodline has now brought in other stars to the group thanks to Solo Sokoa, Tamina is also a member of the Bloodline in real life. Even though the star didn't feature in the faction within the company, her father, Jimmy Snuka, married Saran and became a part of the Anoa'i family. Therefore, Tamina was also a part of the family. It remains to be seen if the star later returns to the company in any role for the company.